It's the time of year when people around Canada and the world get gifting for loved ones and those who may not be as lucky. But how does one go about choosing the right charity to give to, with so many to choose from and with so much need amid these uncertain times? Or maybe you're thinking about fundraising for your own special cause during the holidays. One Canadian organization specializes in connecting donors with their desired charity or cause. Canada Help says it has facilitated over $2 billion in giving by over 3 million people. Well, joining us now to tell us more about Canada Helps and how it could help you give back during the special season is Nikki Lamont Chalf, Canada Helps Director of Donor Marketing. Ms. Chalf, welcome to Forum Daily. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great, ma'am. Thanks for your time today. Now, Canada Helps is essentially a charity that connects donors with other charities. So it's a, a very unique concept. So can you tell us a little bit more about how this works? Of course. So it is an incredibly unique concept. Canada Helps is essentially a charity for charities. And one of our core goals is to connect Canadians easily um, with access to support the causes that mean the most to them. So donors can access over 86,000 registered charities directly through Canada Helps with multiple ways to, you know, show their support. And as you just mentioned, over our 22-year history, Canadians have donated more than $2.3 billion through our platforms by way of things like um, one-time donations, monthly donations, running fundraisers, gifting things like charitable gift cards and e-cards, and a few other ways. So generally, as an organization, we're really dedicated to making it uh, as easy as possible for Canadians to make an impact. Now, I know you mentioned uh, you have thousands of charities to choose from. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about these charities and the causes uh, that they're connected to? Yeah, so it's essentially all Canadian charities. We have two main ca categories that you can support by, so individual charities and cause funds. For the first option, it's very straightforward. Canadians can access the 86,000 registered charities uh, in Canada and donate to them that are covering areas from food insecurity to animal protection to environmental wellness to education and much, much more in between. And we also have cause funds. So they're a bit newer. It's a very innovative way to give. Your single donation uh, gets to make a very broad and lasting impact by supporting a group of registered charities that are all working towards the same cause. So for example, you can donate to the Indigenous People Solidarity Fund. And with that single donation, you're supporting multiple charities within that fund who are all focused on Indigenous rights. Sounds like you've got a lot of great options to choose from. So how does one go about choosing a charity to give to? Well, if you go on CanadaHelps.org, it's an incredibly user-friendly website. We have many ways to find a charity. You can browse by charity name or keyword. You can browse by category or thematic area. If you know what you want to generally donate to, you can browse by cause fund. Uh, and when you find a charity or a cause fund that you're interested in, we also have an about section for that charity's profile. So you can get an understanding of their programming and their organization as a whole. Um, a large part of our, our mission or our goal is ensuring that Canadians find the right organization to donate to, regardless of what it is. So we've made it very easy for them, or we've tried to make it as absolutely easy as possible for them to make their selection out of any charity in the country. Sounds quite user-friendly. Now, are there any charities or organizations in particular need right now in Canada or internationally? Yeah, so that's that's such a big question. And unfortunately, the answer is honestly most of them. Um, there's such a large need for charitable services right now. We did a recent poll that showed that 22% of Canadians, so two in 10 of Canadians, say that they plan to access charitable services to meet their essential needs in the next six months. And when we say essential needs, we're talking about food, shelter, clothing. That is a pretty drastic increase from 14% in January of 2022. And when we look at parents, that number jumps up even higher. It's one in four, 27% of parents that plan on accessing these services in the next six months. And while that need is increasing, the demands of charities and the cost of their programming also continue to rise with inflation. Um, it's, it's, it's a really scary mix of charities costing more to run their programming, people needing charities more than ever, and people also unable to donate to the degrees that they used to donate to. So if Canadians are looking to narrow down organizations to support to, I'd suggest 
looking at organizations, local organizations in their neighborhoods, in their communities that provide essential services to Canadians um, that need those essential services and that are going to be accessing them now more than ever. But I, I would not want to put giving in a box. I would say if there's a cause that you care about it and you have the ability to donate, donate to anything to the degree that you can. All right, Ms. Chelf, thank you again for your time today.